viewers so in the last class we learned about different erosional features formed by glacial movements in today's class we shall focus on different depositional landforms formed by glacier on reaching the lowlands glacier starts the work of deposition and the point where the glacier ends is known as snout after crossing the snout after it reaches the snout it does the work of deposition and the very first depositional feature that we will see to is moraines now what are moraines moraines are the small rock particles or anything that comes across the glacier on its way and gets embedded in the glacier is known as moraines it might be a small uh, rock particles uh, sand clay or anything that gets attached to the glacier so there are three types of moraine lateral moraine medial moraine and terminal moraines so what are lateral moraines suppose this is a glacier so when this glacier is moving on the valley it is also bringing the sediments along with it and when it reaches the snout or the terminal point then starts depositing the sediments brought down by it so lateral moraines are the moraines which gets deposited at the banks of glacier banks or the sides of glacier this is the lateral moraine now what is a medial moraine when two glaciers comes towards each other and when they unite when they merge the sediments which is accumulated in the middle of these two moraines are known as medial moraine so this is your medial moraine here this is the medial moraine the moraine which gets deposited in the middle of two glaciers next we have is terminal moraine so there is end to this glacier at some point so when this glacier is going to end when it comes to its end it starts depositing the sediments towards the front side so this sediments at the front of glacier is known as terminal moraine so these are the three type of moraines that we find as a depositional feature of glacier landforms number 2 is glacial fluvial landforms so glacial fluvial landforms are landforms formed by glaciers in the lowlands the depositional landforms which are formed by glaciers when it advances towards the lowland is known as glacial fluvial landforms so under glacial fluvial landforms number 1 is drumlins now drumlins are small small hills elongated hills that are formed when the terminal moraines are washed by uh, ice suppose as we already discussed you have the terminal moraines this is your terminal moraine so this is the end of glacier from here we will not find glacier anymore there will be a river or small small streams instead of glacier so this is a terminal moraine the terminal moraine is made up of large boulders of rocks big big boulders of rocks comes together to form terminal moraine so say for example if uh due to any reason here the flow of ice increases so when the flow of ice increases then again the ice will pass through this terminal moraine so this is terminal moraine here this is your ice which is passing through this terminal moraine which is already present here so when it is passing through it it erodes the site and it does the work of deposition at this site giving this terminal moraine elongated form like this so drumlins 
they are steeper at the onset side, the side from which the glaciers are coming and they taper off, they are gentle at the side towards which the glaciers move. So when this type of drumlins occur in a large group, like this one drumlin, two drumlin, three drumlin and many more drumlins in a group, they look like basket of egg topography. So this is also known as basket of egg topography. They look like number of eggs kept in a basket together. Next is an esker. So eskers are long, narrow, winding, wall-like structure that have been formed because of the deposition of sand and gravel brought down by glacier. Suppose this is a glacier. So once it reaches the point called snout, it starts melting, we all know. And when it melts in a form of small, small streams. These are the small, small streams uh, which is coming out from the main glacier. So the streams, they don't move straight. They tend to be curved. So along with the stream, they have brought down some sediments with them. So when the streams move in a curved manner, when they twist and turn, the sediments brought down by them also gets deposited in the same manner, like this. So eskers are formed in this way. Number three, kames. Next depositional feature is outwash plane. Outwash planes are planes formed by deposition of fine sediments by glacier. So when glacier starts the process of deposition, it firstly deposits very big, big sediments in a form of uh, drumlins. So after those big sediments are settled, then as the glacier melts, it carries with it the fine particles, fine sediments, which it deposits in a form of uh, um, outwash planes. After outwash plane is kames. Kames are small, small mounds or hillocks that we find in the outwash plane. They don't have a definite shape. Their shape and size vary. Kames are mostly made up of sand and gravel. Next, the last feature is kettles. Kettles are small hollows or depressions that is filled with water that we find in the outwash plane. So, kettles are formed when the dead ice gets immersed in the outwash plane and in course of time this dead ice melts, it forms a lake which is known as kettle lake or kettles. So with this we completed the work of glacier. So what we learned? We learned about various depositional and erosional features formed by glaciers. So they erode the slope, hence most of the erosional features are located at the slopes. And they does the work of deposition in the lowland, so most of the depositional landforms we find in the lowlands. So I hope you all will try to learn and understand at least few of these landforms.